In an episode of Frenemies, Trisha scolds Ethan for having a nanny for his child, because she tells him that it's not safe to have strangers watching his kid. She cites her being assaulted as a child for why she believes this. Claiming that a babysitter that she had when she was a kid sexually abused her and that's why she feels so strongly about this topic. This became her whole defense for why she flipped out on Ethan. When I have a kid, I'm not going to have nannies, that's pretty, I'm sure. What does that mean? You're not going to have a babysitter when you have a kid? How are you going to do anything? You're going to... What does that mean? You're trying to attack our parental abilities? Let's just move on. There's no attack. I just made a comment. There's something wrong with having a nanny? In my eyes, yes. <laughs> really? We just keep doing the baby. What about daycare? Daycare is different. Why? Daycare is... Nannies are like people who come here and take care of your child all day. Because we're and working. I, that's how that, everybody has nanny. They work. People work. You I mean, can take care of kids and work. I never how? had a nanny. My my parents, I never had a nanny. And so you think we're bad parents? That's what I you're didn't insinuating. Say that. I said I would never have a nanny. Did I say you had a bad parent? You're putting words in my mouth. I literally said I would never have a nanny if I had a kid. Okay. Well, I think a lot of people have nannies. A lot of our employees have nannies. Because mm -hmm. we both work, right? Mm -hmm. And so we have a nanny that, that Theodore really likes and he spends the whole day with her. And then when she's done around 4 30, we take over and spend. I think that's pretty normal. Okay. Happy for you guys. Why are you attacking our parental I'm not. I said choices. I would not have a nanny if it was me. But, but, but. So I'm not attacking your parental choices. You do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm not attacking But why did you make that comment then? I'm just saying. I heard a nanny upstairs and I was like, oh, I just, I want to have a nanny. Why'd you say it? Because I want to have a nanny. I heard a nanny upstairs and I was but like, you're oh. But clearly you're trying to say something about us. I'm not at all. That's you. Really? You just said it out of nowhere <laughs> when you're mad at me? You're projecting that. No, I'm not. Why would I? How am I projecting? Because you're like, oh, you're attacking us. You think I didn't you, attack you. I just you said I wouldn't have a, an nanny. You think I'm a good dad? It was a comment. I have no idea. I never. I don't know. You seem fine. You seem good with him. I have mm. no idea if you're a good dad. I can't say either way. But I have a nanny. Yeah. And that's a problem. I don't think it's a problem. I would just, you know, if I was lucky enough to I have a kid, I would just spend my time with the kid and all... figure it out where we could, you know, figure it out. Because my my mom and dad did that. My mom was a single mom. And we still never had a nanny. She didn't work when you were like one and a half? She worked at night. And nobody watched you? My brother. Oh, well, he doesn't have a brother or a sister. So should he just be by himself? You have family, don't you? You can't be with his grandparents? He's They're, they're not here. They're they have a life. Mm. I wish, they yeah. They have a life. I would let them come. That's what family well, does. So, my so, grandma watched me. Okay, so then this is the problem with my family. Sure, put that out there if that's the narrative you want to say, sure. Whatever you want me to say, I will. If you want me to say that. I'm just trying to follow the thread because you're upset. And There's you're trying no to, threat. No. I literally made a comment that if I'm lucky enough to have kids because I can't fucking have kids, that I'll be with them all the fucking time and make sure I can spend as much as I can with them. And then when Don't I, you think it's healthy to be away from them sometimes? Yeah, but they should be with another family member. So they should never be with anyone that's not in their family. I don't believe in that at all. Hmm. Seems extreme. Seems like not everybody has that luxury. You know? Sure. Hmm. You want my opinion? You said when there's two working adults, I said, do you want my opinion? And you said yes. I did throw the first jab at it, but you continued it and pushed it. So tell me about my parenting. I'm like, you really want to know? And you're like, yeah. I was like, all right, this is what I would do when I had a single mother that was working. My grandma watched me, not a nanny. I had a babysitter that abused uh, me when I was oh, five that was female. We experience. I had a female caretaker at a very young age. Like... do inappropriate stuff with me. However, she recently addressed the nanny situation in a video just this month where she was claiming to address all lies she told, and she states the reason she judged people like Ethan was because she thought it was lazy parenting to pawn your child off on someone else. She goes on and on about how she viewed it as a rich people thing, making no mention of the risk of the child being hurt by a stranger, which she claimed was her whole point originally. How did she go from crusading against it because she thought strangers could hurt children like she claimed to be hurt herself to now saying she judged it because she viewed it as being too privileged? As I always say, I throw myself under the bus. I was one of these people, right? When you don't have kids, you have the most to say about how other people raise their kids. Obviously, there's people who have kids that still mommy shame or whatever like that. And when you don't have kids, it's so easy to be like, oh my God, I would never do that with my kid or blah, blah, blah. Because like, yeah, and I, yeah, I don't have a physical baby here, but already my mind has changed so much about things i used to say like oh my gosh the people that like have nannies or something are like oh like what why like why would you do that why would you even have a kid if you're gonna do that you know what i mean and then you know someone put in perspective for me where it's like a, it's like a daycare situation like you know 
people have to send their kids to daycare because they have to work. Both parents have to work. And I'm like, I was so just like in my own world where I was just like, why would anybody do that? You know, because when I think of nannies, I think of like rich people and stuff like that. And just like, they stay at home while like someone else watches their kids for them or whatever like that. And I was like, okay, one, even if that's the case, not my business, but two, it's like, you know, people need help, whether it's like mentally or like, you know, just with a baby or people need to work, you know, people, people need to work and eat. Like I said, even if people just want their time, you know, again, who is that for me to judge? Right. I don't have my baby yet, but like, yeah, I can already feel like, okay, am I going to have like a me day? And I was so quick to judge. It's like, oh, if you have a nanny, like that's so lazy. Like you're going to have someone else raise your kids. Like I, you know, and not realizing that was like such a privileged way of thinking, which is like so ironic because I thought they were like the privileged one. So she's admitting that she was in fact judging Ethan at the time for having a nanny because she believed he was a bad parent and was just using a story of being hurt as a child to justify why she went off on him. If she truly had been hurt as a child like she claimed, why wouldn't she mention that again in this new video? Why would she say her sole reason for arguing against nannies was because she looked down on wealthy people who did it because she thought they were lazy? There's no mention of the safety of children at all in her new video. No mention of her alleged abuse. That's because that was never what it was about. That never happened to her. If it had, she would have still been arguing that point. Not confessing that it all had to do with her thinking people were lazy.